Nitric oxide is a heteronuclear diatomic molecule that is an exception to the octet rule. Now let's see why. Nitrogen being in group 15 of the periodic table, we know it has five valence electrons. Oxygen is in group 16, we know it has six valence electrons. So the molecule has a total of 11 valence electrons. So now you can see why it's an exception to the octet rule. You can't have pairs of electrons when you have an odd number of valence electrons. So these are known as radical species. And radical species are oftentimes very reactive because they want to gain or lose their one electron to be more stable. Sometimes they're associated with negative things in biology. Free radicals is damaging DNA. But they also play very crucial roles. So I'll, I'll let you look into that. Uh, nitric oxide is a signaling molecule that signals the muscles around our blood vessels to relax so more blood flow can go through when that's needed. Uh, we call that vasodilation. Anyway, let's draw this little structure. There's no central atom, so we can put nitrogen on one side and oxygen on the other side. Let's connect them with the bonding pair. That's two electrons that are shared in a covalent bond. We're down to nine valence electrons. Let's give the terminal atom an octet. I'm going to start with oxygen because it's more electronegative. So we are down to three valence electrons. So we'll put the remaining three on the nitrogen. Now if you count up the valence electrons, oxygen has an octet. Nitrogen has five valence electrons, two, four, and five. So we can improve this structure by taking a lone pair of electrons from the oxygen and making a double bond. That way nitrogen has seven valence electrons. So I'm going to redraw this. And there's your lowest structure for nitric oxide. Now you might, you might be wondering, well, why didn't we give nitrogen the octet first? And give, so in other words, why don't we Why don't we have a structure like that? So if you, if you check out the formal charge on this, you'll see that nitrogen will have a formal charge of negative one, and oxygen will have a formal charge of positive one. And we don't want charges on these atoms on a neutral molecule. The formal charge on this version will both the nitrogen and the oxygen have a formal charge of zero. So this is the preferred structure.